Hi and welcome. So it's the 1st of August. Welcome to the 1st of August. Welcome each and one of you. Wow, I cannot believe that we are now in August. We are over halfway through the year. What does it mean? And first of all, I want to say that this is um, a channeled reading today. This is a reading to help and support you over these next months. But actually, August starts to bring in 2025 frequency. I want to say that right now we are moving through such high frequency. And in August, we now are receiving these beautiful energetic tidal waves. And these waves of energy and light frequency and the light coding that we, have that we are receiving now, we have never received before. The body, um, the physical body, the carbon-based body isn't used to such high frequency and learning how to move that frequency and to stabilize it within our magnetic field. You are going to feel at this time quite unstable and there'll be days where you feel like you've reached this beautiful unity consciousness and then there'll be other days where you fly back into that ego um, state and the old programming. I want you to know that this is really perfectly normal for where we are on a conscious level. We know that Gaia is going through the biggest awakening and as we go into 2025, we are closing out old cycles. Now, as we close out old cycles, it can be hard on the mind and ego. It can be hard on the physical body as we shift in to this very new frequency. We are shifting out of that ego state and those old programs. And as we shift out of the old programs and the fear and the lack um, energy and we move into the freedom and abundance frequency, it can feel unstable. It can feel rocky and that we're being thrown around and we're in the deepest of waves. I want you to know this is just because the old energy is now dissipating out as we move through the last part of the year. We're getting ready for this new energy of 2025. 2025 brings in brand new cycles and with these new cycles will be completely different frequency. You will not recognize where you once were, especially 2020 and 2021. It will feel like decades and decades ago. This is because the light frequency and the light codes that we have now shifted into are completely different and they are altering your whole frequency. We are going to see this not just in the Twin Flame community, the spiritual community, but we will see it as well within the whole planet. Those that are asleep right now will find it quite tricky and quite hard. The ego state will be very, very triggered. I want to I wanted to make this video to for to give you peace and to give you understanding of the energy that we are shifting into and how powerful this energy is. So if you are feeling that you're feeling this pull between almost like you're between worlds, almost like you're between lifetimes and it feels quite strange as we strip as we um, change from that ego state way of living into beautiful unity consciousness. This is not a thing that you can stop. This is not a thing that you can slow down. This phase, as we move into the back end of August, going into September, we're going to feel a quickening of the energy. I want you to know that this is about you now learning how to take time out, learning how to uh, align with soul. Because the more that you align with soul, the more that you align with your Shakti and Shiva energy, your divine masculine, divine 
feminine that you hold within you, the easier you will find this light frequency. This light frequency is not for the faint-hearted, will throw you into some chaotic um, thinking, i.e. you will go quickly into that ego mind and into a fear-based frequency. But the more that you hold the energy, the more that you observe the energy, and the more that you question yourself in a self-mastery, in a self-inquiry state, the more that you will shift through it. This is a really, really powerful time, especially for those that are on an awakening journey. This journey is aligning you with who you are at your original soul blueprint. So yes, it's going to feel tricky. Yes, it's going to feel like you're unstable. But the more that you connect into soul, the more that you release any of that fear or lack frequency and you step more into your light, more into your power, the stronger you are going to ride this wave. This wave is powerful. This wave is bringing in that freedom, that abundance. We are changing how we, as a beautiful um, conscious being, how we live in the world, how we operate in the world. And once this has changed, it will never go back to the old fear-based way. For those of you that are awakening now, there has never been a more exciting time to be on this world. As I say, 2025 is closing out old cycles. New frequency, new energy is coming in and it is coming in powerfully. Once you learn to harness this new energy, once you learn how to really ride that wave with this new and um, beautiful light coding and light frequency, you will fully shift into that unity consciousness. I look forward to supporting you over these next few months. I look forward to riding this beautiful light frequency. And what I will say, this light frequency is also going to activate the dragon heart. The dragon heart, I'm going to come on to more. Um, this dragon heart energy is powerful and you will feel like you have no limits to where you are ex expanding to and growing to. I send you so much love, many blessings.